Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, Billy here. Um, thank you so much for uh, watching. Uh, if you're a subscriber, thank you for being a subscriber. Thank you so much. Uh, if you're new to the channel, uh, there's going to be a lot more content coming out. Um, trying to make better videos. Uh, I'm new to the video scene. Uh, I'm not a professional photographer or videographer. Um, I'm not that advanced in editing, you know, doing editing to the videos. Uh, it's all new to me. Um, so if I make mistakes, uh, I apologize in advance. Uh, but uh, I'm learning. Uh, but I do enjoy it. It's a lot of fun. We hope you enjoy looking at our memorabilia and inviting you into our home through video. Uh, hopefully your experience is, is uh, something that is entertaining and you know you enjoy looking at as much as I love showing it to you. And um, uh, we may have stated this many times earlier in the video. Uh, we do have more memorabilia. Uh, in a storage facility. Um, we're planning on getting that here very soon. Um, the memorabilia that we have here already in our home uh, is pretty much up at this point and displayed. Um, there are things that we, we're we waiting to get from storage uh, so that we can display it as well. Um, but most, most of it's here uh, displayed already. Um, there are a lot of things um, that I probably won't display. Playoff towels. Uh, we've got 20 years worth of playoff towels and t-shirts and, you know, stuff like that. Um, I won't probably be displaying those or having that out. I, I will remain, you know, I'll continue to collect those items. Um, and one day I may have the perfect spot for them. Uh, but for now, uh, I'm going to leave those kind of things packed away. Um, so I will keep you guys included on any updates uh, as far as me getting other things here. Um, I have a bunch of sticks to still hang up. Um, as you can see, you know, just over my shoulder there, are a pile of sticks there. and There's more you know, out in the Ranger room itself. Um, and uh, I ordered some of the brackets I use. Uh, I ordered them through Amazon. Um, I forget how much I pay. I will try and link that down below for you. Uh, I like them. Um, some sticks are a little harder to put in them than others. Um, some of the sticks that they make these days with the sticky grip on it, uh, it expands the stick a little thicker. Um, so the holder that I purchased to drill into the wall and, and uh, to hold the stick uh, doesn't always accommodate the stick comfortably. So I kind of have to pry it in uh, with a little more force than normal. Um, I don't know if you other people who will use the same uh, ones that I use find that uh, difficult or but but I, I have noticed it doesn't damage the stick doesn't scratch it there is a foam and felt uh, protection on the actual um, clip that that screws into the wall uh, it anchors right into the wall um, so it doesn't damage uh, the sticks at all um, and I find them easy to install um, so that's one thing I I used to just use a, a little eye hook and screw that, you know, screw a nail into the wall, have the nail protruding at least an inch and a half, and then screw the eye hook into the stick, lined up with the nail, and hang the stick up on the nail. I'd have two nails with two eye hooks, one in each end of this end of the stick, and just hang it like like that. It was very inexpensive for me to do it that way. Um, and then I realized, uh, you know, that that's not the look I really wanted. Um, so I decided to look for an alternative. And that's when I found those uh, brackets on, on Amazon. And uh, 
I like them. I haven't had any issues other than it, like I said, being a little snug. And you have to pry the stick in on some of them, depending on the stick. But uh, that's it. And uh, as far as the display cases go, um, I the last time I looked, uh, they were sold out. I tried to get some more. I got them through Walmart. Um, I'll place a link below. I'm not sponsored by Amazon or Walmart or, or anybody, actually. Um, so... Uh, I just want to put the links down there in case you're interested. Um, the cases, the display cases for the jerseys themselves on Walmart, I believe were $160 plus tax, I believe. Um, but I'll link it either way. Um, I, I do like these display cases. I found them very easy to hang. Uh, they come with the hardware as far as all the... Um, anchors uh for the screws to go in the wall and um a key comes with it they they all lock um so i found them and they're very light um and i think they look great um i i like the look of them that's why i invested in so many of them um as you see in the video i have a lot of display cases with jerseys and um they're pricey uh there's you know, I can get shadow boxes from the store Michaels, uh, half of the price of what I'm getting these acrylic display cases. Um, I do like the quality of the acrylic display cases, um, as opposed to the shadow box. Anytime, and I like to switch the jerseys, switch things around once in a while. Uh, I don't like it to get too stale, so I mix things up. And uh, with a shadow box, I find it difficult to just constantly have to take down, remove the backing, remove the jersey. If I put any memorabilia in it, uh, I have to take that out. And if I switch the player uh, with a different one, a different jersey, you know, it's the process of like basically starting from scratch, except the bolts are still in the wall. Um, but I find that just, um, you know, it's it. It's something I'd rather not have to keep doing if I want to change it. So for me, I, I the display cases have a door and they just swing open. And it's very easy just to replace the jersey with something else as to, the, as opposed to taking the whole shadow box off the wall, removing the backing and inserting a new jersey and, and just doing that process is a little tedious to me every time. So so that's another reason why I went with the acrylic cases. Um, but I just love the look of the acrylic cases. They are pricey. Um, that I know. Um, but I do love the aesthetics of them and how easy they are. They're very pra practical for me to use. And um, a lot of the frames, um, some of the 8x10 frames, I purchased through Amazon as well. They're uh, not expensive and I believe six come in a box, six 8x10 frames and they have a matting uh, inside the frame. Uh, so I use those generally for my 8x10s. Um, some of the 16x20s, um, I usually, I don't really buy too many 16x20 uh, photos without the frame. So if I can find a, a 16x20 already framed, uh, most likely that's, that's the one I'll be getting. Um, and... Helmets, uh, I just go on Amazon to buy baseball helmet display cases, um, baseball display cases um, that I buy through uh, Fanatics, um, and I'll link those as well. Um, I believe I paid, and if Fanatics usually has sales going on, um, for a limited time with a different percentage off. Uh, so I believe I purchased a couple of the baseball display cases that hold 30 baseballs uh, for, I believe, around $80. 
during that uh, particular sale. I think they were 65% off. Um, sometimes they have free shipping. So I had to pay shipping on that particular sale when I purchased my uh, baseball display cases. Um, but I believe that was less than $5 for shipping for all of them combined. Um, I believe. Um, so I, I kind of, when I purchase things like that, I do wait for sales. Uh, and there's multiple sites that I go to. Um, but generally I find uh, those are the sites I generally use the most is the Amazon uh, Fanatics or, uh, you know, Walmart for the jersey display cases. They have, you know, other display cases you can get football display cases through any of those sites. And so, so I guess it's just a, a matter of, of what particular case you're looking for and, and what your budget may be. Um, so um, that's about it as far as the cases go. If you have any other questions, uh, free, feel free to comment. Uh, I'd be happy to answer them. Um, so I hope you guys uh, enjoy and uh, please like and share if you don't mind, and uh, we'll see you around. Thanks again. You guys stay safe.